Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Spartan Crew Gaming, and today we're talking about Middle Earth, Shadow of War once again. Let's jump into it. So recently, a big stream went up, and it was really cool. Um, it's from PAX West, and Jared and FMA, which are both like community guys, are people that work on the game as well. They were hosting it, they did a great job, they were really energetic, awesome at commentating, and we got a bunch of new info from it, and it was really cool, and I want to bring that info to you guys. Basically, the stream started out with them doing a fortress assault, and then it ended, of course, with them spending around 30 to 40 minutes hunting down orcs in the open world. And this is where we got most of the info for this video. So first off, we're going to be talking about Blood Brothers, because there is a bunch of them in this video. Let's go. So Blood Brothers are some really cool orcs that, um, you know, are, are other orcs' brothers. Basically, they're family. And uh, when you kill one of them, uh, the other brother's probably going to come after you and be like, Yo, hey, you messed my brother up. You killed my brother. Or you decapitated my brother, but he's alive, but still... I'm gonna come after you. I, I don't know if they'd still come after you if you wounded their blood brother, but still, no matter what, they're, they're gonna come after you if you kill their blood brother, that's for sure, whether or not their blood brother cheats death. But it's really cool and it's really interesting to see, and I have some footage for you guys, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy that. Here is the footage of blood brothers avenging their blood brothers. Enjoy. With you or without You're you. just a man, and when an Uruk faces a man, the man will always lose. That's right. You're just a pathetic man. <laughs> <laughs> With the hype aware, when you find this captain, man there will belt. be oh man. You gotta be belt. careful in Mordor, haven't ya? You, you never belt. know who's got a big brother. Keen for revenge. Hey. Vengeance is my duty. Rash! My blood the overlord. Taught me that. Wow, and nice. So this was the guy we shamed. Too. Unless there's more blood brothers. <laughs> Ooh, and... <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is what right. You get for killing an Uruk's blood brother. You monster. But so what I thought was really cool is we saw a bunch of blood brothers in this episode, and they were just avenging each other all the time. The mystic guy and his mystic brother avenged him, and then we also saw the guy at the very end. He killed us because we, uh... You know, we killed one of his brothers, and he's like, Hey, that's what you get when you kill someone's blood brother. He's like, you're a monster. You know, it's really funny, because orcs are actually the monsters. But nonetheless, Talion is pretty mean sometimes. So, you know, very interesting, very cool. And uh, I was like, huh, this is cool. This is interesting. I like it. And it was just cool to see all these blood brothers. Of course, we see uh, the overlord that used to be the fortress overlord. He actually was the guy that was shamed in riding the Karagor. And uh, I think Pash the Twins was his, uh, you know, Blood Brother, and I'm going to show you guys Patch the Twins. Really not any news from these guys, but they're just hilarious. Show, enjoy Patch the Twins. There's the twin. <laughs> Merc and I are more than head twins. We are two halves of the same orc. That's why they said we were special. Right out of the bat, they said it. Twice the intellectual <laughs> prowess, twice the cunning, and twice the intimidating yet noble visage. <laughs> I lay in the mud close to death. Oh, yes! Gak the Twins is back! But my brother Merc coaxed the life back into me. <laughs> so now we will coax the death into you! Uh the next cool thing we see, of course, is uh, an orc trying to escape and run for his life. And he's like, yo, I'm not gonna let you destroy me. I'm gonna throw some smoke bombs. And this was really awesome. It's gonna be playing in the background. And it was just cool to see this orc running away, throwing smoke bombs at Talion, saying, hey, you're not gonna catch me. And then, of course, Talion catches him. But it's cool to see how much the orcs have adapted in this game to trying to escape, how much more personality they have, and just how much more action they can ensue and how much more damage they can deal. It's really cool and really awesome to see. Another cool thing we get to see is decoys, and basically an orc can make like multiple duplicates of himself, you know, by dressing other orcs up just like he is. And it's really cool to see this. I'm gonna let you guys watch that. Enjoy. Yeah, so there's a captain who's trying to trying to grab Skoon. So Hogrish yeah. the Crow. You're dead. They're both at time boys! You're slow, even for a maggot. Good luck. Look at it, he's got like face paint. He does. I love that final like, where's, where's he going? Is he just running? He is just running. I think he's going to run too. There's a bunch of decoys that he's heading towards right now. Oh, interesting. So we actually don't know if that one is the decoy or if that one's the captain. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. What will the designers of this game think of next? Who knows? I've worked on it for three years. This is the first time I've seen a decoy. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're great fun. 
And somebody's got, somebody's got smoke bombs. So one last bit of information that I thought was pretty awesome is fire propagates in this game. So what does that mean? I mean, it means that fire just, it keeps going. It spreads and it continues to burn things. So in the last game, fire would not propagate. But in this game, if you start wood on fire, that wood will start to burn. If you start the brush on fire, the brush will start to burn. It will just start to continue burning and continue burning until it spreads more and more havoc and is really cool. And there's a lot of fire-based weapons in this game. Orcs have fire. Dragons have fire. There's fire grouks, Talion has fire fists, fire arrows. There's a lot of fire in this game. And uh, it can be used to your advantage and to your disadvantage sometimes. And now that it can propagate, it's pretty dang cool and very interesting to see. And I'm just very excited to see uh, how much you can do with that. Also, we got to see a really cool vista shot of flying over Gorgoroth with the Drake and just seeing how big the region actually is. And it's just a really cool... I don't know, view and just a really cool stream in general. But nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. That's all the news I really have for you guys. And it was just really cool to find all these Blood Brothers in this stream and just talk about them a little bit because they were pretty dang awesome. But nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a blessed week, and I cannot thank you enough for the support you've given the channel. I can't thank God enough and you guys uh, because it's just awesome to see what God does and just see how life moves. And um, I'm just very excited for the future continually. And guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a bunch. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And tell me what you thought of all these awesome Orc Blood Brothers in the comments below. See you guys next time.